When growing up, one of the coolest places parents can take any kid to, besides the arcade, was a toy store. Toy stores date back to the 1700s when William Hamley opened the first store in London under the name Hamley's. Many toy stores today face heavy competition from the online toy market from companies like Amazon and eBay, as well as brick and mortar stores like Target and Walmart, leaving only a few toy stores around on a smaller scale. Today, we will be going over a list of toy stores that no longer exist in the United States. Zany Brainy Zany Brainy was a retail store founded in 1991 by David Schlesinger, with the company's CEO being Thomas Veos. Its merchandise included educational toys and multimedia products aimed at children's ages 4 to 13. The stores also offered daily events such as workshops, concerts, and author's appearances. The company, which had 187 retail locations nationwide, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on May 15, 2001, and has faced financial difficulties since acquiring rival company Noodle Cadoodle in 2000. Later in 2001, Zany Brainy's assets were sold to Right Start. David Schlesinger and Tom Veils have founded another successful retail chain, Five Below. Zany Brainy was revived as an online store in 2020 with a select line of products. Lionel Kitty City Lionel Corporation, which is known for its electric toy trains, opened its first kitty store in 1969. Its mascot featured two kangaroos by the names of Casey and Baby. It also operated stores under the Playworld and Toy Warehouse nameplates. Lionel ran into financial trouble during the early 1980s recession and filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in February 1982. After reducing itself in size to 55 stores and emerged from bankruptcy in September 1985, in the 1990s, the chain was ranked the fourth largest toy store and grew to 100 stores. It soon found itself hard to compete with the larger Toys R Us chain and discount stores that sold toys at a cheaper price. By 1993, the chain liquidated all its 23 remaining stores after an unsuccessful attempt of merging with the bankrupt Child World toy chain. Circus World Circus World, originally known as Child's World, was founded in Michigan in 1964 by engineer Sidney Rubin, who served as the company's president. Wanting to start a business in Detroit, Rubin realized that Michigan was ranked fourth in the United States in terms of youth population under 17 years of age. Rubin chose to begin a toy store company and began securing locations, followed by financial backing. In 1981, Circus World Toy Stores opened 127 stores located in 22 states. With 18 locations in Michigan, stores averaged 3,500 square feet, and Rubin stated that Circus World was the largest privately owned toy specialty chain in the United States. A year later, Rubin sold the company to Rite Aid, which planned to finance an expansion of the toy chain while Rubin would remain in charge of it. Circus World would later be purchased by the Green Man Brothers in 1985, who were owners of the Playland chain of toy stores at the time, which converted them to Circus World stores. They managed to increase sales substantially by renovating stores and improving operations. Despite the the apparent turnaround and record sales, the operational improvements envisioned by Bernard Greenman did not come quickly enough, and Circus World lost $3 million for the fiscal year of 1987. Although the chain will become profitable again by 1990, it had failed to differentiate itself from competitor KB Toys, and Green Man Management decided to sell the chain. Melville Corporation, then owner of KB Toys, announced plans to purchase Circus World's 330 stores in 32 states for $95 million, becoming part of Melville's KB division. The sale was completed in August of 1990, and Circus World stores were subsequently renamed as KB Toys. Child World 
Child World was founded by Sid Snyder and Joseph Aresano in Quincy, Massachusetts in 1962. The mascot for Child World was originally a cartoon rabbit named Happy Rabbit, who sported the words I'm happy on his t-shirt. He was later replaced by a cartoon panda bear named Peter Panda, often depicted wearing overalls with his name printed on them. After it acquired Children's Palace from Kobacker stores in 1975, Child World became the second largest toy retailer in the United States in 1981 after Toys R Us. In many areas, Child World stores operated near Toys R Us locations. Post-merger, Child World began incorporating the Children's Palace styled castle decor into its new stores. Until 1990, Child World implemented a warehouse merchandising style with long aisles and overstock storage above selling shelves. When sales began to decline by the late 1980s, the chain announced a different 29,000 square foot store format. The new store had a strong first day and performed well in the firm's critical Christmas selling season. Management announced 11 existing sites would be converted from 1990 through 1992 using the new design. In April 1992, Child World applied for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and ceased operations by September of that year. KB Toys KB Toys, also known as KB Toys, was an American chain of mall-based retail toy stores founded in 1922 as Kaufman Brothers. The company originally operated as a candy wholesaler and acquired a wholesale toy company from a candy client who owed them money for outstanding debts in the early 1940s. In 1946, Kaufman Brothers opened a wholesale toy company and ended its candy wholesales two years later to focus entirely on the toy industry. Retail sales began in the 1970s under the name KB Toy and Hobby. Fast forward to 1999. The company operated over a thousand stores across the United States under the names KB Toys, KB Toy Works, and KB Toy Outlet and became the second largest toy retailer in the US. It later declared bankruptcy in both 2004 and 2008 before going out of business on February 9, 2009. The company operated 461 stores at the time of its closure. International retailer Toys R Us acquired the remains of KB Toys, consisting mainly of its website, trademarks, and intellectual property rights. Strategic Marks, a company that buys and revives defunct brands, purchased the brand in 2016 after Toys R Us allowed the previous registration to lapse and planned to open new stores under the name beginning in 2019. Plans for this revival, however, fell through due to a lack of funding. Toys R Us Toys R Us was originally a baby furniture retailer called Children's Bargain Town, founded by Charles P. Lazarus in 1948. The focus would change in 1957, which would become the first Toys R Us store, which was opened in Rockville, Maryland. The store chain grew successfully and built a brand that was recognized by many children born in the 1960s and 1970s by sharing the success of the birth of popular culture successes of action figures, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, dolls, Cabbage Patch Kids, Rainbow Bright, video games, Nintendo Super Mario series, and other co-developed names, original Sega Genesis stations, and titles. A flagship store was opened in 2001 in New York's Times Square at $35 million. The store was eventually shuttered later in 2015 when the company decided to cancel the lease on the space. Toys R Us launched a children's discount clothing retailer in 1983 known as Kids R Us which folded in January of 2004 due to sales declining. Babies R Us was started in 1996 in New York and expanded after purchasing the 78-store Duncan-based Baby Superstore in 1997. These stores offer an assortment of products for newborns, infants, and toddlers. In May 2006, Toys R Us Inc. 
acquired toy retailer FAO Schwartz, including the retailer's flagship store on Fifth Avenue in New York City, as well as its e-commerce site FAO.com. The company eventually closed the FAO Schwartz flagship store in New York on July 15, 2015, citing rising rental costs, but continued to carry FAO Schwartz branded toys in its Toys R Us and Babies R Us stores. Fast forward to September 18, 2017, Toys R Us Inc filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, stating the move would give it the flexibility to deal with $5 billion in long-term debt by borrowing $2 billion so it could pay suppliers for the upcoming holiday season and invest in improving current operations. A year later in the summer of 2018, Toys R Us permanently closed all its remaining U.S. locations after 70 years of operations. The founder, Charles P. Lazarus' death occurred just one day before Toys R Us began liquidation sales in the United States. On October 8, 2019, the company True Kids relaunched the Toys R Us website, which would feature a focus on resources and videos highlighting popular toys. The site was established in partnership with Target, with users being redirected to Target.com to place their orders. In 2020, the agreement lapsed, and Amazon replaced Target as the site's fulfillment partner. Toys R Us made a comeback on August 19th, 2021 by partnering with Macy's to sell toys on the retailer's website and open store within a store locations at 400 department store locations. On December 16, 2021, Toys R Us opened a two-story flagship store in the American Dream Mall in New Jersey. For a more in-depth history of the Toys R Us chain, be sure to check out the post-mortars video on this chain. Well, this brings us to the end of our list today. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other toy stores that have disappeared over the years, or if you recognized any of the ones we went over in the video. I also highly recommend checking out Post Mortar, the Retail History Show channel, who has covered some of these toy store chains. See you next time.